When I was 10 years old, while on a camping trip with my family, I spent an entire afternoon designing my dream house. It featured a Hogwarts castle, movie studio, and among much more, the engineering wonder that is a square zipline. <laughs> a square zipline! <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I do not have a hundred million dollars or the ability to bend the laws of physics, but what I do have is another drawing from the mind of prepubescent Liam, this time for one of my castle's secret rooms. Hidden behind a giant golden photo frame, I dreamed up somewhere to relax, eat junk food, and watch movies on my very own DVD player. Which in 2023 is probably weirder than a square zipline. <laughs> So for all 359 days that I've been at this house, this cupboard has been used for storage. I honestly think this is the perfect mix of cozy and spacious. Like I eat, oh my God. I'm kind of envisioning this part will be the secret room and then we'll just block off everything else so it looks like, you know, a wall. So first things first, we need to gut the cupboard, which is not as brutal as it sounds. I, I'm just taking everything out of the cupboard, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually a little bit more brutal than I expected. But we now have a blank canvas. We can literally start building the secret room right now. Right now, this very second. And that is our floor done. Our floor is done and it looks really good. It looks really good. I should also. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna have to come up with a better way to get in. <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's hot and it smells weird, but this is gonna be really sick. It's gonna be so cool. Now at this point, I know what you're thinking. Liam, you are a building genius. This is literally the best floor I've ever seen in my life, but there is, there's one floor, there's one floor in the floor, you know what I mean? The massive hole underneath. <laughs> Check it out! It's a wall. It's not that exciting, but it, it took me four days, so. Thought I'd hype myself up. I literally spent an entire day cleaning up after sanding. I would highly recommend you put something on the floor if you're gonna do this yourself. But anyway, at this point, we have actually completely finished the skeleton of our secret room. So we can finally move on to uh, the organs. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ah! Now, according to my original design, there are five essential components in this room. Um, five vital organs, I guess you could say. <laughs> First is a carpet of some description, followed by obviously a seating arrangement, somewhere to put our snacks, a TV, and last but not least, a giant golden photo frame. So I'm gonna head out to uh, every store, full stop, every store that's ever existed, and hopefully get all that stuff right now. I have hit the rug jackpot, bro. All of these, 50% off, 50% off. <laughs> I honestly love this one. It's so comfy, bro. I have just found an entire aisle of pillows. Look at this, look how many pillows there are. Oh my God, 10 year old Liam would be so proud of this. Bingo. Oh my God. I'm thinking that a floating shelf is by far our best bet for the snacks. This one here is exactly the same color as the carpet. So I'm kind of thinking that this is a bit of an interior design boss move from me. There are so many nice TVs here, but I think 
that this little fella is literally the only one that's going to fit. It's actually still really nice, uh, but, it, but it is very small. Uh, Liam, why is the screen black? We've still got to find the giant golden photo frame, right? And what's the sad music? Are you implying that you didn't find the giant golden photo frame? Uh, yeah, yeah, I looked for literally the entire day and found nothing, so... So I built one! I built this, and it took so, so long, and I don't think it was worth it, but... Here it is. <laughs> oh, and by the way, while you guys weren't looking, I may or may not have secretly installed all the organs. Yeah! I'm actually probably gonna blur that because I don't wanna spoil the surprise. Right now, this is the equivalent of a naked dude. I'm not gonna stop using this analogy, okay? He's got his skeleton and organs, but he's missing, in the words of Princess Fiona, a few homey touches. So I just went on a mildly destructive online shopping spree. <laughs> but these are all of our homey touches. This is everything we need to finish the secret room. So in theory, we are mere hours away from the grand reveal. Hiya! Hiya! I lied. We're actually mere minutes away from the grand reveal. That's just a bunch of empty boxes. The room's done! It's done! <laughs> Dude, this has been a dream of mine for 12 years and it's finally done. I promise it's actually done. This is like extreme home makeover. You know when they have the bus in front of the house and they go, hey, bus driver, move that bus! This is the bus. I'm about to move it for you guys. This is it, my friends. The actual grand reveal in three, two, one. The photo frame won't open. Oh yeah, that might be because it only opens if you put the white key card on a very specific place on the frame. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll, I'll catch you later. See you around. Bye. <laughs> oh, well, I don't want to pat myself on my own back or anything, but I think I aced 10-year-old Liam's design flair. <laughs> Between the rather extreme red and yellow theming, our cute little Skittle dispenser, which is the most 10-year-old thing I've ever seen and I absolutely love. <laughs> and of course, the TV constantly looping Harry Potter. I think it's safe to say that prepubescent Liam would probably have thought this was, in his own words, pretty boss. And post-pubescent Liam is unironically gonna spend a lot of time in here. <laughs>